differential is a key component in today's vehicles that became a standard feature in automobiles by the late 19th century. It transfers engine power to the driving wheels while allowing them to rotate at different speeds during turns. In this video, we'll take a close look at the working principle of an open differential and the clever mechanism inside to see how it works. An open differential is the simplest and most common type found in vehicles. However, it comes with a significant limitation, something you may have encountered, especially if you live in colder climates. We'll dive into that a little later in this video. Before we dive into the inner workings of a differential, let us share something that has helped us understand complex systems like this. Our sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform that helps you master STEM concepts through hands-on problem solving. Their first principles approach, much like what we're exploring in this video, breaks down complicated ideas into simple, engaging lessons. Whether you're curious about data analysis, programming, or even physics concepts behind gears and motion, Brilliant makes it fun and easy to build your skills. Personally, we've loved their vectors and applied physics courses to understand real-world mechanics better. Try it out for free for 30 days using our link at brilliant.org forward slash deconstructed and take 20% off an annual premium subscription. A differential is typically located between the drive wheels of a vehicle and vehicles can have one or multiple differentials depending on the drivetrain configuration. The vehicle in this video is four-wheel drive, also known as 4x4, not to be confused with all-wheel drive vehicles. It has two axles. An axle is a central shaft that connects the wheels and supports the vehicle. There's one differential in the front axle and a second differential in the rear axle. These differentials are linked by drive shafts to the vehicle's transmission using a transfer case, an intermediate gearbox used in four-wheel drive vehicles that splits the engine's power between the front and the rear axles. For simplicity, we will only focus on the rear differential in this video. When a vehicle is driving in a straight line, power flows from the engine to the transmission, then through the transfer case, drive shafts, and finally to the differential, which splits the power equally between the two driving wheels, allowing them to rotate at the same speed. When the vehicle turns, the outer wheel needs to cover a larger distance than the inner wheel in the same amount of time, so it must rotate faster than the inner wheel. Without a differential, both wheels would be locked together, forcing them to rotate at the exact same speed when the vehicle turns. This would cause wheel slippage, increase wear, and make the vehicle harder to handle. The differential solves this problem by allowing the wheels to rotate at different speeds. Let's now take a look at the key components of an open differential. This is the axle housing that holds the differential gears. Mounted on the housing is the cover that allows for access to the differential gear. A filler plug is typically located on the differential cover. This plug can be removed to allow for an addition of differential fluid. The oil level is usually at the brim of the plug. Now, let's take a look inside the axle housing. The drive shaft transmits power from the engine to the differential input shaft. Attached to the input shaft is the pinion gear, which engages with a larger gear called the ring gear. The ring gear is connected to the differential case, or carrier, which is the housing that holds the differential gears in place. The case rotates along with the ring gear. Inside the differential case are two freewheeling spider gears, which allow each wheel to rotate at different speeds. These spider gears mesh with two side gears, each of which drives the axle shafts connected to the wheels. 
Because the pinion is smaller in diameter than the ring gear, the input shafts rotate at a higher speed than the axle shafts and wheels. This proportion is known as the axle ratio or diff ratio. For instance, an axle ratio of 3.31 to 1 indicates that the pinion gear must rotate 3.31 times in order to rotate the axle shaft once. So how do all these components work together? The pinion gear turns the ring gear, which drives the differential case. As the case rotates, it causes the spider gears to orbit due to their attachment to the case. When the vehicle is driving in a straight line, both wheels rotate at the same speed, and the resistance from both wheels is equal. In this situation, the freewheeling spider gears do not rotate on their own axis, but instead push both side gears together at the same speed, distributing power equally to each wheel. When the vehicle turns, the outer wheel needs to rotate faster than the inner wheel. The slower inner wheel provides more resistance than the faster outer wheel, which causes the spider gears to rotate on their own axis. This produces slower rotation in one side gear and faster rotation in the opposite side gear, resulting in the vehicle's wheels turning at different speeds. The main limitation of an open differential arises when one wheel loses traction on a slippery surface, such as ice. In this situation, almost all the power is directed to the wheel with low traction, while the wheel with grip receives little to no power, causing the wheel without traction to spin freely. The open differential always applies the same torque to both wheels. However, because the spinning wheel lacks grip and spins easily, very little torque is transferred to the wheel with traction. As a result, the side gear connected to the wheel on the dry surface remains stationary, while the opposite side gear spins freely. This makes open differentials unsuitable for off-road conditions without the assistance of a traction control system. There are other types of differentials available, which we'd like to explore in a future video. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. We recently hit 100,000 subscribers and we are honestly blown away by how quickly this community has grown. To celebrate this milestone, we're launching the Founders Membership tier. Take advantage of this early Founders promotion on YouTube memberships or Patreon by clicking the link in the description or simply hitting the join button under this video. To our very first supporters, thank you so much. We're grateful of this incredible community we're building together. Meanwhile, check out this playlist for more deconstructed content. We'll see you next time.